morning, sweetie. And the first semester in high school looks way different than it did in middle school, and so it's important for you to understand that difference. And we're going to talk about just some upcoming dates and events that you need to be aware of. The end of the first semester isn't until after we come back from break. The issue or concern maybe with that is you'll have a two-week break before you take your exams. There are three types of exams that you need to be aware of that you will be required to take for each of your classes. You will only take one of the three types. You're not going to take like 37 tests in the first period. It will just depend on what kind of class it is. Number one, the quarterly assessment. Raise your hand if you took a quarterly assessment. I know at least English one, uh, algebra one, geometry, yeah, all of it. So you took that 40 question or 18 question quarterly assessment on the computer. That will be your end of quarter assessment for that class. If you are an elective class, it's only a semester. So if you have a PE class right now, you will take, or creative writing or law studies, you will take a semester end of course exam that the district creates. Or if neither one of those apply, you will then get, like in world history, a teacher created midterm assessment. It doesn't necessarily have to be paper pencil, it could be a project that's up for the teacher and they will be telling you that, I'm sure, if they haven't told you already, what that's going to look like. For registration, there's a, a couple of important dates. Our curriculum night, and if you were eighth grader last year and you came over, if, if, and you attended wait in the middle, you might have come over for the eighth grade parent night, and then we had curriculum night where you got to see all the different kinds of classes that we offer. That is going to be January 25th. You have about four to five weeks to make sure that you are working on your homework, studying for tests, balancing your priorities, all those things we talked about when I came in. And then we're going to talk about what you need for next year. So be prepared for that at the end of the year. Those cats tickets today, you're going to be able to turn them in to me or Miss Taylor in the Wildcat store, A and B lunch. And then we'll open it up and then you guys can get all kinds of different treats, different snacks, different school spirit items. That is the first time in Western Chapel history that the freshman class won homecoming. I know the seniors were really upset. I got to hear about it all from them. Like, Gee, yeah. So that was really awesome. Um, and I just hope that the next couple years you guys continue with that tradition. We have a couple of fundraisers that we're going to be participating in because I know it's, you know, three and a half years away, four years away, but we've got prom to think about, we've got graduation to think about, that money comes from us. So we need to start raising money. We also are starting today through December 18th, pre-ordering hoodies. I know I talked to a lot of the kids on my steering committee and everybody likes hoodies. You can personalize it with your first name, your last name, a nickname, within reason. Stop by room 208 before or after school or during a lunch.